Sí, vea. Be quiet, please. Yes, be quiet, please. A moment. Thank you so much. Let me first share our screen, okay? Please be quiet, everyone. Okay, I will mute you first, everyone. And I will share first our screen. So I hope you can still remember our topic last time. So we are already finished with our body parts. And this morning, we have a new lesson, okay? So our new lesson is all about It's all about animals. Can you see now the screen? So you can see now our screen. So today our topic is about the body parts of animals, okay? So we are going to talk about the body parts of animals. So at the end of the lesson, what is the objective of our lesson? So the objective of our lesson is, of course, after this lesson, you are going to label the main parts of animal's body. You will identify their body parts, okay? And then you can relate each animal animal part to its function. What are the uses? Uses of each part of uses of each body part of animals. And then you are also going to describe the characteristics of animals. And you are able to group, students were able to group the animals based on their characteristics or based on their um, body parts based on how they move, how, where they live, what they eat. So those are their characteristics, okay? So let's now go first to the classification of animals. Before we go to the parts, let us first review the classification of the animals. How do we classify Remember, in scientific process, we are classifying things or we are grouping them. So to classify them, we classify them according to their kind, okay? So these are the classification of animals. Animals can be grouped as mammals. These are the animals that has a babies, okay, born alive, and they give milk to their babies. So we call them as mammals. Everybody say mammals. Okay, and then we have reptiles. Reptiles, these are animals that have scales. They are cold-blooded animals. Okay, and then we also have fish. These animals, I have low voice, hello? Is it low? Hello, there. Is it still low voice? Everyone, can you hear me clearly? Okay, so now another group is Maybe you can adjust the volume in your computer. No picture?
You cannot see the picture, wait. There, can you see the picture now? There, is there a picture now? Can you see the picture? Okay, so let me repeat it again. Before we study the different parts of animals, let us first review its classification or its group of animals so that you will understand why they have different parts, okay? So we classify the animals according to their kind. So we have mammals. These are animals that has baby that were born alive and they feed their babies with milk, okay? These animals here in this group, they have or they they are they give milk to their babies. It's not in the book, okay? This picture is not in the book. Later some pictures are already in the book. And this one, the next group is reptiles, okay? Reptiles has scales and they have cold body and then another group is the fish these animals are the one that we can see or the, those leaves in live in water okay and they have gills and some group of animals or another group of animals or we can classify them as birds this one they have wings okay and they have feathers and other animals are classified as insects okay so we are going to study their body parts and the di and their differences from each other okay so now let's have this is page In your book, this is page 21, okay? Page 21 of your textbook. So what are the parts of an animal? So animals have different parts. Animals are also like us. They have some of their body parts are the same with our body parts. So look at this cat. Cat is a cat belongs to mammals, okay? Cat belongs to mammals like dogs. So these are the body parts of a cat. Cat has, of course, it has head like us. It also has ear. Cat has ear. They have two ears also. And cat has an eye or have two eyes. Cat also has a nose and they also has mouth. Okay? And cat also has a body. This is the body of the cat. And the body of the cat is covered with hair or fur. We can also call it as fur. Okay? Hair or hair or fur. We can also call it as fur. Hair or fur. And Cat has tail. 
or most mammals has tail but us people we don't have tail okay that's what makes us different from animals animals have tail but people or humans don't have tail so again these are the body parts of a cat or a mammal cats and dogs have different have the same body parts okay so most mammals or most animals that give milk to their babies they have the same body parts okay same with us and this kind of animals they also have legs okay cat has legs they have four legs okay cat dogs elephants all of them has or have four legs so this cat has four legs one two three and four okay front legs and hind legs so these are the body parts of a cat next is the body part of body part of other animals okay other animals have different body parts that they and they have also different jobs to do so these animals have different body parts this eagle has the bright eyes to see things from far away okay who are those sending message pictures what are you sending ah cat okay Kun, why are you sending my Noah? Why are you sending Minecraft? Okay, and a bat, they have bat has ears, uses his its ears to find ways or to go somewhere. They use their ears to go somewhere or to fly. In the place that they want that they want to go okay so they have distinct body parts that they use for a certain job and this bear bears nose can detect smells better than humans okay the nose of the bear is or they can smell better or detect smells than humans and also giraffe uses its tongue to pluck or to get the leaves because they cannot use their their legs to get the leaves from the tree so they uses their tongue to pluck the leaves or to get the leaves from the tree so those are the distinct body parts of these animals that they use okay how about other animals okay animals have other animals have body parts that help them to move okay so these are the body parts of animals of some animals that help them to move snake moves its body the snake can move using its body and then the frog uses its leg to move frog and a toad okay and a dragonfly this one is a kind of insect uses its wings to fly dragonfly has wings and turtle has flippers. We call this as flippers. Okay? The body parts of turtle is flipper. And they also have their head and their body. Okay? And fish, they have tail and fin. And we will have other parts of fish later. 
So these are some parts of other animals. Other animals have shells. They have shell in their body, like the crab. Crab has shell. This one, the body covering of crab is a shell. And also a tortoise or turtle, this one, turtle and tortoise, they also have shell. Shell that protects their body. Okay, they have shell. And also an, other animals have chaos, like this one, the pangolin and the fish. They have scales. So they belong, this one belongs to reptiles and this one belongs to fish group. Okay? So let's have other animals. Other animals like this one, they have spines. A hedgehog has spines. Everybody says spines. And sea urchin also, this one is an animal that we can found under the water. So in the sea, we can find this under the sea. And they have spines. Both of them have spines. And other animals have horns. Everybody say horns. Like the goat and buffalo. Okay, they have, both of them have horns. There are other animals that has horns too. Can you give me an animal that has horn? May I call? What are the animals that you know that has horn? Pan pan. Pan pan is there. Can you give animals that has horn? Sheep, very good. Who said sheep? Other animals that has ho horn. Animals with horn, aside from buffalo and goat. Also, cow, right? Cow has horn too, this one. Okay, so those are the different body parts of other animals. Rhino, very good. Rhino has, someone said, rhino. Do they have horn, rhino? Is it the horn? Noah, what are you sending there? Some pictures. Okay. Kun, stop sending. Is it Noah or Kun? Stop sending Minecraft pictures. Okay, let's move on to the next. Okay, let's have the body parts of a bird. Okay, will you please, anyone who would like to read this, what do we call this one? Anybody from the class? Let me unmute first. Let me call Kelly. Kelly, are you there? How do you read this one? This body part of a bird, what do you call this? TJ, okay, TJ, can you please? I will unmute TJ. Um, what is Mouse. This TJ starts with letter B. B, B, B. B, B. 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 B.
Mouse. Okay, again, TJ, what is this one? Beak. You say beak. 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 Okay, very good. So, birds don't have mouth. They have beak. The bird uses their beak to get the food. Aside from beak, what are the other parts of bird? This one. How do you read this? Who would like to answer? What do you call this part of bird? Anyone? Tankun. Uh, Janai. Janai. Or Jania, sorry. Jania. What do you call this body part of bird? I cannot unmute you. Can you unmute yourself? And okay. Zania, <laughs> what do you call this body part of a bird? Wing. Very good. They have two wings. The one side, it's wing. But bird has two wings. And this part, what do you call this part? Legs. Legs. And how about this? The cover of the bird. Body covering of a bird. Feathers. Feathers. Very good, Jania. She's reading. <laughs> She's yeah. reading from. Very good, Nanya. How about others? So these are the body parts of birds. We have beak, wing, or wings. It has two. And they have legs, legs, or legs. And they also have feathers. And some, and they also have claws, okay? These are their claws. Bird claws. Next, let's go to the body parts of an insect. Okay? Guggen, are you there? Is Guggen there? No. Beam. Where is Beam? Mean. Mean, can you hear me? Lick. Okay, what are the body parts of insects? This is an insect, an ant. What are the three body parts of an insect? We have... Oh, what do we, oh, how do you read oh, this oh, one? Oh, this is called... Oh, feelers. Oh, feelers. Feelers, very good. So, insect has three parts. The feelers and then the body. This is the body. And this is the leg of an insect. Okay, insect has six legs. Okay, remember one, two, three, four, five, and six. That is how they become different to a bird. Bird has two legs. Mammal has four legs. And fish don't have legs. But insect, they have Six legs, okay? Insects has six legs. How about... So other insects have wings, but other insects, they don't have wings. Can you give me an insect that has wings? What are insects that has wings? Let me call top 10. What are the insects that has wings? Hmm? Top 10. 
What are the insects that has wings? Ah, very good. I can see there in the chat box. Someone said B. Jenna said B. Very good. She said B. B has a wings and B is an insect. Very good. How about beam? Where's beam? What are other insects that has wings? Beam? What are other insects that has wings? Ah, I can read there again in the chat box. Kun said butterfly. Very good. Butterfly. Jenna and Kun. Very good. Bees and butterflies, they are also an insect. Very good. What else? Okay, so those are insects. Okay, the body parts of insects are feelers and then their bodies and then their legs. So let's continue with other parts of other animals. So let's have a fish. So fish has its own body parts also. Fish lives in water. So, the, so they have different body parts compared to mammals and reptiles. They have other body parts. So let's have the body parts of fish. So what are the body parts of fish? Let me call other people. Hannah. Hannah, you are on mute now. Can you hear me, Hannah? What are the body parts of fish, Hannah? What do you call this one? That covers the body of a fish. This. What do you call it, Hannah? Okay, let me hear from Hero. Where is Hero? <laughs> Hero, what are the Hero. body parts of fish? <laughs> what do you call this one? <laughs> fish. This is a fish. What are the body parts of fish? This is fin. Fin. You say fin or fin. Okay. How about zati? Where is zati? What are other body parts of fish? Sati, are you there? Okay, how about Kun? Kun, can you give other parts or can you read the other parts of fish? Other body parts? Gills. Of... Gills, very good. We have, fish has gills here. They have gills to breathe. In water, very good. I will write it there. So fish has gills, okay? They have gills. I will just use this one. Gills. Okay, fish has Gills. They use their gills to breathe. Okay, here there is a. They have gills in this part. And what is this part that they use to move? What is this part? Let me call Zania again. Oh, Zania is raising her hand. Mama, the 
Zania, what is the body covering of a fish? What is the scales? Scales, very good, baby girl. Scales. So fish has scales and fins and tail to move, and they have gills to breathe in water, and they also have mouth. So this one. They also have mouth. Fish also has a mouth. So let's put it there. Mouth. And they also have fish also has eyes. Okay. Fish has an eye or two eyes. So they use their mouth to eat. So these are the body parts of fish. They have scales, mouth, eyes, gills, fins, tail, and they also have fins in here. So they have fins here. This is also their fin and another fin here. So those are the body parts of a fish. Now, let's have a guessing game, okay? We will have a guessing game. You guess the... Guess the body part of this animal. This pig. Uh, what is the what is the part of an animal? What is that? Beak. 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 Very good. So this is a beak. Let us see if you are correct. Okay. Very good. Correct. How about the next one? Okay. I'll mute you first, everybody. If you know the answer, you can raise your hands. Okay. So what is, how about this one? Can you guess what do you call this body part of a cat? Oh, Zania again. Zania is raising her hand. What is it, Zania? It is? It's curse. Whiskers, very good. Let's Whiskers. see if you are correct. So this is a whiskers, very good. Next one. What is that? What is that? Uh, this is an elephant. What is this body part of an elephant? Trunk. Trunk, very good. It is trunk. Okay, very good. Okay, how about the next one? Others, please answer also. Who would like to answer aside from Jania? Let me call Perdfa. Perdfa, are you there? Radha, Radha, are you there? Oh, I'll unmute Radha. Oh, Perdfa first, Perdfa. What do you call this part, Perdfa? Let me unmute Perdfa. First of all, what is this part of an animal? Wing. Wing. Very good. It is a wing. Very good, first of all. This is a wing. And who's that one? Someone said something. Corn. 
Stop sending pictures. That is not about the lesson, okay? Next is we have this part of a bird. What do you call this part of a bird? Anybody? Boolean. Okay, boolean. Is it boolean? What do you call this part of a ver of a bird? Kobo. Is it kobon? Kobon. What do you call this part of a bird? It is called, it's not feather, it's called feather. Very good. Someone typed there and you said feather. Who said that one? You said? Kelly. Kelly. Uh, Kelly said it is a feather. Very good. Everybody say feather. Okay, this is? A feather of a bird. Very good. Next, what is this part of a fish? Anyone who would like to answer? Oh, Jania again. Jania is raising her hand. Okay, Jania, unmute yourself. So this is. Bean. Fin, okay, very good. Bolin, fin also say, said Bolin. And let us see if we are correct. Very good. Sorry. And this one, what do you call this one? What part of animal is this? Let me hear from Corn Bone. Corn. This is, oh, they said in the chat. Very good. Tail. 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 Nawa said tail. Kun said tail. 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 Jani said tail. Tail. Jani tail. Said tail. Very good. This is tail. a tail. Very good. Yes. And how about this? What is this part of an animal? This one. What is this? Lanta. What is this one? Horn. 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 Very good, Lanta. This is a horn of an animal. Okay. Very good. And how about this? What is this part of an elephant? This one is the trunk, and this one is, what is it? Hmm, mouth, it's not a mouth. Azania, what is this part? <laughs> is it a teeth? <laughs> No, it's not a teeth. It is called tusk. This one is a tusk of an elephant. This is not a tail. It is a tusk of an elephant. Okay, this is the trunk and the tusk of elephant. This is made from ivory, okay? Next is... Okay, so before we end our topic, so those is our, those, uh, that is our game about guessing the part of animal. Now let's have textbook exercises or exercise. Open your book on page 24, this one. Page 24 of your book. You are going to connect. Page 24 of your textbook, you just have to connect, draw a line or connect the body parts, okay? Draw a line like this one. So there are body parts. Get your textbook now.
Everybody, get your textbook. Page 24. Page. All right there. Page 24 of your textbook. Okay? So, connect. Find the parts. Match the body parts of an animal to animal it belongs to. What? So, I'll stop sharing first so I can see you if you are really working. Get your workbook there and answer. Connect. Connect the parts of an animal to it. Which body part does it belong? Okay. Get your workbook, please, everyone. And answer it. Okay? Connect the part of an animal to where it belongs. Okay? Get your workbook and answer and then we will check the correct answer, okay? After this one, after you answer. You click OK or thumbs up if you are done, if you are finished already. Click OK. Are you finished? Okay, let us check your answer if you are finished, okay? So, this one belongs to a horse. How about this one? Let's answer now. Are you ready for the answer? Okay, this is a flipper of a turtle. Very good. So, check your answer if you got it correctly. And this part belongs to what animal? Okay, very good. Belong to snake. This one. And how about this part? Okay, very good. It belongs to a buffalo. And this part, what animal is this? Okay, very good. It belongs to an eagle. And the last one is a tail of a fish. Okay, you count the correct answer. One, two, three, four, five. You write it there. Five. Five over five. Okay, you write your score. Five over Five. Finish. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you got something for our, from our lesson today. So, see you again next meeting next week. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Goodbye and thank you. See you again next meeting. Goodbye and thank you. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Be good every day. Bye-bye.